The treatment of supraventricular tachycardia can be done to stop an episode, to prevent further episodes, and also to eliminate the risk of having supraventricular tachycardia. When an episode of SVT occurs, the first step is to try vagal maneuvers. Vagal maneuvers are maneuvers that can cause your heart rhythm to go back into the normal rhythm. Different types of vagal maneuvers include one, blowing on your thumb as if it's a trumpet, two, bearing down like you're having a bowel movement. Both these are attempts to increase the intrathoracic pressure. Number three, you could stand on your head for one to two minutes, or if it's an infant or child with SVT, you could assist them to stand on their head for that period of time. And four, you could use ice cold water on a washcloth and then place it over the face for five to 10 seconds. Vagal maneuvers can be effective at bringing supraventricular tachycardia back to a normal rhythm. However, should symptoms be significant, such as with fainting, should the arrhythmia last for more than 20 or 30 minutes, or should there be other concerns, then care should be sought immediately. To prevent episodes of SVT, medications can be used. Two of the most common medications are called beta blockers or calcium channel blockers. These are taken daily in attempts to prevent an episode of SVT from occurring. Lastly, to eliminate the risk of supraventricular tachycardia, a cardiac catheterization and electrophysiology study can be performed. While the patient is asleep, catheters are placed within the groin and advanced up to the heart. These catheters can be used to analyze the heart rhythm and eliminate the risk of supraventricular tachycardia. At the University of Iowa Children's Hospital, we specialize in cardiac catheterizations on pediatric patients. And we also have the ability to do these procedures, in some cases, without the use of any radiation.